Welcome back, everyone. What a great conference we've had so far. Happy to announce our last presenter today. We have Next Tech AR Solutions. It trades on the OTCQB under the symbol NEXCF and on the CSE under the symbol NTAR and is the engine accelerating the growth of the metaverse. Using breakthrough AI, Next Tech AR is able to quickly, easily, and affordably ARitize vast quantities and varieties of existing assets at scale, making products, people, and places ready for interactive 3D use, giving creators at every level all the essential tools they need to build out their digital AR vision in the metaverse. Please welcome its CEO, Evan Gappelberg. Welcome back, Evan. Thank you, Ava. Uh, great to be back. Wonderful. Take it away. The floor is yours. All right, so Next Tech AR Solutions, we make 3D models um, using AI, that is our secret sauce. The reasons to invest in Next Tech are pretty apparent. Um, we've created a very valuable 3D ecosystem, essentially around three operating companies, AR Ties 3D, that makes our 3D models for e-com using AI, AR Way, which we've uh, recently spun out as its own public company, it's a spatial computing Wayfinding company, symbol is ARWY, and Next Tech Event Solutions, that's a next generation live event technology, which is really a combo of all of the tech for uh, live events. The timing for 3D is now. The demand for 3D models is taking off, and it is being driven by big tech uh, and also the ROI. The market uh, in the e com uh, area is huge. It's just massive at five and a half trillion dollars where everything 2D is going 3D and it's transforming online shopping. Uh, our ability to scale is really disruptive. Uh, it creates a never ending stream of monthly recurring revenue and annual recurring revenue for Next Tech and our shareholders. We have a blue chip leadership team. I am the CEO and founder. I am the single largest shareholder with over 10% of the shares outstanding, recently purchasing over 250,000 shares in the open market. We have a fully integrated solution. Here's our blue chip leadership team. The star of the show really is our CTO, uh, Nima Sashar, Apple Computer Computer Vision uh, guy who's, who's helping us uh, to bring all this amazing AI technology to market. These is just some of our accomplishments to date, partnerships with Microsoft, Ericsson, Singtel, and Google, integrations with WooCommerce, Shopify, BigCommerce, and ShopLine. In 2022, uh, the big account that we landed is Amazon. They are the 800-pound gorilla. We just landed them in Q3. We also have Napa, Cole, CB2, and over 100 other accounts, but Amazon is by far, by far and away, the biggest account. Uh, we did announce uh, almost a $7 million purchase order from them to be delivered in 2023. If you look at 3D models for e-commerce, it's the per perfect product market fit. Huge ROI is driving the adoption. 94% higher click-through rate, 250% higher conversions in online shopping, and a 40% reduction in returns. Uh, that's what's driving the demand. The content creation is that we have uh, a really bleeding edge and uh, a competitive advantage is, is being driven by AI, which is uh, really unlocking our ability to create 3D content at scale. We have essentially two platforms. One is ARTIZE 3D, converts 2D images to 3D, and then we have Toggle 3D which we just announced today, we're spinning off as its own public company. We're gonna issue a stock dividend to Next Tech shareholders. So if you own Next Tech, you'll get shares in our spin out. Toggle 3D, which is a 3D design studio, turns CAD files into 3D models uh, at scale. Again, massive, massive uh, opportunity, five and a half trillion dollar e-com ecosystem demanding 3D models and Next Tech is leading that charge. 
exponential growth is happening now. If you look at this chart, it speaks volumes. It started out, you know, just a drip in 2020, a little stream 2021, a torrent. It started to accelerate in 2022. The floodgates are opening in 2023. And we see nothing but blue sky uh, business opportunities ahead in 2023 and beyond. Uh, it's as easy as three simple steps. We use existing uh, reference images that are on your website. The AI creates the 3D models and we are integrated. Uh, so we, we actually post them on your website. In, and let's go to the video to show how it works. Customers want 3D and AR models while they shop. Is your e-commerce store ready for that? Google ranks 3D models higher in organic search than typical 2D ones. Allow us to introduce you to the Aortize 3D app for e-commerce. Aortize 3D is a quick and easy one-stop shop for all of your e-commerce and 3D AR needs. Adding augmented reality to your site isn't as time-consuming or expensive as you might think. We turn products into existing 3D AR models without any 3D experience or fancy equipment with our end-to-end -end solution. The only requirement? Your regular 2D photos that are already on your site. Our artificial intelligence technology makes it that simple. We create models in-house for you and host them on our cloud so your site runs at top speed. After your approval, models integrate with your e-commerce store and you're ready to wow your customers. This means 3D lifts conversion rates by 250%. Click-through rates jump by 94%. Download Aortize 3D for your e-commerce store and start making 3D magic today. Uh, so there you have it, Aortize 3D. Uh, try it for yourself. Take out your phone, hold up your camera to the QR code on screen, uh, you could choose uh, the, the pocketbook, the, the chair, uh, the Beeple $69 million uh, NFT, the, the piece of art, the, the skate or the bicycle, and just bring what's on screen into the room with you. And you could see it in 3D AR. Uh, this is the next generation of shopping, and this is what's driving the demand for our services. Um, these are CAD examples, so it's not even just small objects. These are cars, uh, hot tubs, boats. You could pull these out of the screen and put them on your deck, uh, in the water, in your driveway with you. Ecom returns cost uh, $1.47 trillion annually to the Ecom ecosystem, 40% reduction in returns, is worth about $600 billion uh, for the e-com ecosystem. Again, this is what's driving the adoption of 3D models. Big tech is also uh, supporting the adoption. Google is indexing 3D models higher for organic search, and Shopify has declared the future of e-commerce is 3D. With AI, Next Tech is disrupting the market on price and scale. You can see that we are uh, all on our own, head and shoulders above the competition. And let's uh, watch a video as we, we are launching and we've launched the configurator, which really shows uh, more than just a 3D model. You could change the color and the design of the 3D model just by clicking a button. And let's you know look at this video.
So that's pure software that we sell in addition to the 3D model, and that's pure margin for Next Tech. We also offer the decorator. We created this garage builder for Napa, uh, where you could essentially take a picture of your garage, upload it onto the web, and design uh, a 3D garage. Let's go to the video to see how it works. So there you have it, uh, the ARTized decorator. Um, you can imagine that also works as your, you know, for your living room or your bedroom if you want to decorate as well. If you look at the total addressable market, it's massive, uh, $147 billion, 400 million product SKUs across all merchants. Um, it's just a massive, massive opportunity, and we're really just getting started. Again. Q3 was transformative. We saw our 3D modeling revenue surge 192% in Q3 alone. Um, that's largely on the back of Amazon. If you look at these uh, QR codes, these are just some samples of some models we've created for Amazon. Uh, you're welcome to scan it and pull these 3D assets into the room with you. Potential future catalysts, more deals. We're in talks with some of the largest brands for new deals. We're expanding uh, into existing deals to supply uh, many thousands of 3D models in 2023 and beyond. CB2 is a customer. Kohl's is a customer. Um, target is a target, and so is Walmart. So. Uh, as well as Hudson Bay. Stay, stay tuned for more announcements. Um, the, these guys really have the lion's share of the 3D models with Amazon being by far the biggest. Toggle 3D, we announced we're spinning it out as its own public company today. It is the ultimate 3D design studio. Let's go to the video to show you how it works. Toggle 3D, again, we're spinning it out as its own public company. If you own Next Tech shares, you will get a free share of Toggle 3D. Um, Toggle 3D, it converts CAD files into 3D models, and then you essentially point and click on the color and the texture you want. Uh, it's an in-browser experience, so it's on the web, no app download, uh, pre-made templates, thousands of high-quality PBR materials you edit in real time. Uh, it's super easy to use and super potent. Um, AR Way, we recently spun out. It is its own publicly traded company. AR Way is creating uh, wayfinding solutions using augmented reality symbols ARWF uh, in uh, the U.S. 
uh, ARWYF rather, ARWY in Canada. Um, we are the majority shareholder of ARWY, so yes, we spun it out. It, it is its own public company, but we own 13 million shares. Um, and we spun it out essentially to unlock the value. Uh, and here's a video which shows you how ARWY uses spatial computing to solve indoor wayfinding. As you can see, indoor navigation, this is the next generation of indoor navigation. Uh, it's a $44 billion industry that we are disrupting using augmented reality wayfinding. Um, there's a huge amount of demand for this solution in corporate offices, museums, galleries, university campuses, hospitals, uh, real estate, events, trade shows, sports stadiums, malls. They're all looking for our wayfinding solution. Here's another video which speaks to a London Science Museum demo that we created to show how powerful the platform is. Welcome to the London Science Museum. Experienced in a new way through a Meditour. Are you ready to start your journey? Find your way to the museum with augmented reality guidance. times faster than 2D navigation using signage. Along your tour, you'll find interactive content and experiences. Once you've reached the museum, you can put your phone down and take it all in. When you're ready, start up your meta tour to an exhibit you find interesting. Let's start with a puffing billy the world's oldest surviving steam locomotive. Learn and experience the history through an audio spatial note. When it began service on January 1st, 1926, the rugby station was the most powerful in the world making visitors feel more engaged and experiences more memorable by turning any static environment into an AR interaction. Now you can begin to enrich your museum map with 3D content. With our no-code creator platform, just drag and drop everything into place, customizable to your needs. Location pins allow you to add context to your space, so your visitors know their whereabouts to key places. From 3D text and spatial audio notes to 3D models and animations. Download your QR code and start sharing your map with visitors. So as you can see, the platform is quite powerful works in a museum environment, and there really is nothing else like it on the market today. Um, if you look at uh, the size of the market, the global augmented reality software market is huge, $137 billion and growing at a 57% compounded annual growth rate. Indoor navigation, $44 billion growing at a 42%. Those are 42% compounded annual growth rate. Those are very, very rapidly growing markets, and we think we have a solution which is better than anything out there. Why? Because there's no hardware. That means no CapEx, no upfront 
expense, no OPEX, no maintenance, low commitment. It takes hours, not weeks for map activation. Uh, you could monetize your airspace, meaning create uh, revenue streams off of uh, marketing and advertising. Uh, and then we are the in-house 3D model factory, so you can populate the map with uh, in-house uh, content. So it's an end-to-end -end solution. Head and shoulders above the competition, everybody else that we found uh, requires Bluetooth beacons uh, or hardware. We, we don't require that, and it does give us a competitive advantage. These are some pilots that we're working on. Future spinouts um, are, un are potentially going to unlock massive value. We just announced uh, Toggle 3D as a spinout. Um, Toggle is likely going to happen in Q1. AR we already happened. We issued a 4% stock dividend. If you had $10,000 invested on October 26 in Next Tech, you would have gotten $400 worth of AR way shares which have gone up 10X, now worth 4,000. So without Next Tech even going up in value through the spin out in just a short 60 days, you would have seen a 40% return on your money. And we think the same thing can happen with Toggle 3D and others. Um, again, ARWay listed October 26, uh, ARWY on the CSC, ARWYF on the OTC, and uh, we see nothing but blue sky opportunity for ARWay. Next Tech is the largest shareholder, uh, but it is its own public company. Map Dynamics is another operating business. It's an event technology platform, could be another spin out. Map D is really a self serve event technology platform. We're integrating uh, the ARWay solution into this event tech software, which means when you go to your next uh, trade show event, there could be an augmented reality wayfinding solution. And this video, which is something we, we did uh, in the real world for Restaurants Canada, uh, will show you how that will work. Let's go to the video. That is, uh, I think, the next generation of events. Um, our executive leadership team has expanded uh, quite dramatically for our event tech solution. We brought in Malia Gilbo as CEO. She brings uh, 30 years of experience to that business, and she's brought her team, so she's made three new hires. Um, if you look at the financial highlights, Q3, 
uh, Nextex saw our uh, technology service revenue up 66%. Most importantly, our Q3 3D modeling revenue surged 192% sequentially over Q2 2022. Uh, 3D model production has gone up 110%. Um, it's game on for 3D modeling, which is the core business. Uh, and then our gross profit margin has increased quite dramatically as well. Uh, in Q4, we've announced that we're going to deliver on a $700,000 3D model order. We have several large quotes that, that have been issued uh, for large RFPs, could close in Q4 or Q1. We're ramping up our production to meet the growing demand. Um, currently, Next Tech trades around 70 cents, 75 cents, and, and uh, with a market cap of around $70 million. Uh, I am the single largest shareholder. I just bought 250,000 shares uh, in the open market. And uh, with that, I think it's time for some Q&A, Ava. All right, great job. We do have some questions for you. Andy Oska asks, what is monthly pricing or SaaS for the 400,000 square foot mall? So the 400,000 square foot mall he's referring to is AR way. That's our spatial uh, mapping wayfinding solution. Uh, we have not announced what we're going to charge for that, um, but it depends on, um, you know, square footage is is a factor, and also what kind of experience uh, they're going to end up uh, having. Right now, that's in a pilot program, so we don't have the final pricing yet. Okay. And so Burrell Heller wants to know, when do you approximately expect to hear about Walmart and Target? Early Q1 2023. And would you consider developing a dating app using your hologram technology? <laughs> <laughs> I We've considered it. Um, it is just a question of timing. Uh, you got to find the right partner. If Match.com said, hey, we want to license your hologram technology and put it into our app, we would, of course, say yes. But we're not going to create our own dating app. Right. Um, Tom DeVito um, Says so, so next, uh, next tech just announced a successful loading of that 400,000 square foot mall. Um, also announced working towards that 100 such pilot projects in the coming months. So, Tom's question What could a mall or small group of malls generate in recurring annual revenue for you? And is the same true for a university or hospital with several campus buildings? Yeah, so the basic subscription think about the business model like this. They might uh, pay us $25,000 or $30,000 a year to subscribe uh, to our platform. And then based on square footage and other potential upsells, there would be additional revenue streams. You know, when you start talking about advertising, uh, which is a big part of the revenue stream, I mean, the sky's the limit. But the base level is around $25,000 annually with no advertising, just to have a wayfinding solution, um, you know, in a, let's say, average size uh, facility. All right. Now, <clears throat> Assad Rashid says, you recently talked about plans of potential NASDAQ uplisting. So what conditions need to be fulfilled to see Next Tech listed on the NASDAQ? So uh, I don't uh, recall actually talking about NASDAQ uplisting recently. We did talk about it when the stock was $7 a share back in 2020. So that's uh, two years going on almost three years ago. But today with the share price where it is, um, we're not really focused on NASDAQ and uplisting to NASDAQ. We might uplist to the OTC QX from the QB, but okay. NASDAQ, uh, we have to wait to the share price is over $4 a share before we can even think about that. And you also recently talked about plans um, of the Toggle 3D. Is there a set date when that will be integrated with Amazon? 
So Toggle 3D, it was announced today as uh, a 3D, as a spin out. And we will continue to come out with additional press releases, updating our shareholders about more information related to the Toggle 3D spin out. But I can assure our Next Tech shareholders that if you own Next Tech, you will get shares of Toggle 3D. Albert Jones has a few questions. We'll start with one. Are you the leaders in the spaces that you do businesses in? We believe we are, yes. And is there independent research showing you're a major player besides Singular? Um, Zach's also has a research report. H.C. Wainwright has a research report. There are a number of research reports out there that speak to that. Right. Well, since this space is so new, um, just wanting to see what other research is out there comparing you to others. So there aren't any other companies that are public that are exactly like Next Tech. Um, if you want to find similar companies, you'd have to go all the way upstream to the NASDAQ 100. Um, so there really aren't any small caps that do what we okay. do. Uh, Albert is a shareholder, so he's uh, curious how he can become a bigger one, looking for more info. Also asking, uh, is there going to be a large convention or live event that you'll be using ARWay in the next 30 days? Um, we are working on a lot of, uh, let's call it pilot programs with ARWay uh, that are quite substantial. There aren't, there's nothing on the calendar for the next 30 days for a live event that he, that he can go to and, and use the technology if that's what he's asking. Okay. And Chris Cherian asks, how are you thinking about incorporating digital twins and video chat into your products as virtual and hybrid events continue to grow? Yeah. So, to, so also back to the previous question, if you want to demo and test out the AR way technology, Go to the App Store and download the ARWay app. It's a demo app. You can use it yourself. All you need to do is download the app, A-R-W-A-Y, and you will be able to scan your house. It could be your office, your bedroom, your living room, what have you, and create a wayfinding experience from, let's say, the front door of your house to your living room. It's that easy. So... You know, you don't need to go to an event. You could do it in your house. As far as, um, you know, what was the second question? Sorry, Ava. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Let me get back there. Um, so d digital twins oh, yeah. and video chat into your products. Yeah, yeah. So that's all um, already built in. So the, you don't have to wait. It's actually part of the studio right now. Um, so. It's there today. All right. Well, Evan, do you have any closing remarks? Uh, just that, you know, I'm looking forward to 2023. I think 2023 is when um, everything goes 3D in a really big way. Apple Computer is going to release their computer glasses. And once that happens, uh, ARWay is going to be in high demand. Who knows? Maybe somebody wants to buy it. Uh, Next Tech's 3D models for... Uh, E-commerce are going to be in even higher demand, and um, Toggle 3D is going to be also in super high demand. So I see nothing but blue sky. I'm positioning the company for success in 2023 and beyond. I'm positioning myself for success in 2023 by buying 250,000 shares in the open market just a few weeks ago. And we'll end it there. All right. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you in 2023 and hearing these updates. I won't be wearing the glasses. I'm going to be right here. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Evan. Happy New Year to you. Thank you. Happy New Year to you as well. Okay, everyone, thank you for a great, successful conference today and so many conferences we've had in 2022. It's been a joy being here with you all. Remember, in a second, you'll be redirected to the registration page for our next conference in January. Reserve your spot early. On behalf of all of us at Emerging Growth, thank you to all of our presenters and attendees for making this such a great success. Remember that a complete replay of the conference, separated by company, will be on our YouTube 
page. That's youtube.com slash Emerging Growth Conference. Subscribe there and follow us on Twitter at Emerging Growth C. I'm Anna Berry. On behalf of myself and our entire team here, we wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, and a very happy new year. We'll see you in January.